going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello, welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. Get your favorite drink and join us around the table. We're going to be interviewing our guest co-host today. And please continue to pray for Priscilla and Stephanie, our regular um, host. And both of them are out, you know. And these kinds of things happen. But God knows it and he just does his thing because God's view is God. You know, it's him and he'll use whoever he needs to and how he wants to. And this was no surprise to him. So anyways, we are interviewing Heather. Gook. <laughs> yeah. Hey, good Heather job. Gook. <laughs> because I've been trying to say that name all day because it's spelled so different. Because it's German, right? It German is. German name? Gooken okay. means to look. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so look. It's good. Oh, Gook to Oh, that's oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, so anyways, we are going to be interviewing her, but if it's your first time watching, I'm Charlene Bactamiri and your God's View host. Here's mm -hmm. our guest host, because both of our two regular hosts are gone, and then we couldn't get another second one, and she was so gracious to sit in and come, and this is Heather, and so, and we are going to be, and we are going to be interviewing her. <laughs> Yeah. And she's been doing a great job. She's been doing goodness. a great job because she's oh, done yeah. quite a few show tapings. Um, and then we have Lana. Lana Gardner right over here. Oh, Lana. And we just welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome you, okay? And so, all right. So let's start off and you just tell us a little bit about you. This is so great yeah. that um, you, you've uh, been gracious to say, okay, not only did she say she'd just come on like a few hours prior to the day we're taping, but now I popped it on her. Can we interview you? Tell me about your life. Go ahead. Yeah. And so she's been gracious to say yes, but the, she, she's smart enough to know it's the Holy Ghost and he'll move mm -hmm. through her. Yeah. And you know, you are, you're a teacher. Mm -hmm. You uh, do you teach adults or kids? Oh, well, I taught middle school. Middle so, school, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I'm prior. And so you have a degree from middle school. I have a degree in education, elementary ed, and then a master's in education and leadership. Oh, so nice. that allowed for me. So yeah. you really yeah. are a school teacher, a school school yeah. teacher with a degree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just I, all I heard is when they said you were coming on that you were teaching the word of God at a church. So oh, I didn't know you were yeah. literally a school teacher. So go teacher ahead. Teacher at, at a private school. Um, oh, so nice. and I taught a yeah, Bible. Um, but before that, majority of my life since I was 18 was in the military. So I spent several years serving. A um, couple of years overseas in Iraq, and so wow. being a soldier is pretty much that's where I feel like it just runs through my DNA, you know. Mm -hmm. And so the transition to teaching was something that's been quite new in the last mm -hmm. couple of years. So, um, yeah, because you were an on the ground girl. So, yeah. all right, tell us. So, let's go back to when were you saved? So I got saved early on. Um, I was raised in a Christian home and. To be honest, I don't really know life outside of Christ. Um, oh, wow. But my father, he led wow. me um, to Christ when I was seven um, and got baptized when I was 10. So I just, yeah, wow. I've, I've just kind of one of those, I guess, probably unique stories. Yeah. And, yeah. That and so did for. you believe, are you one of them that believe, you know, because a lot of people, if they don't think that you know, they were in drugs or murder or whatever, right. they didn't have a testimony. Yeah. So did you, do you uh, did you feel that you didn't have a <laughs> that testimony? That is such a good question. Um, yes. I, for many years, I would get nervous when people ask me to share my testimony because I felt like I didn't have one. Um, and oh, that's a so, great testimony. <laughs> yeah. it is, it's, I it wish. is. Um, yeah, me too. And there were times where I was like, well, maybe I should go do something really like do something bad or do something, you know, that would give me a more of a spicy story, <laughs> so, you know, um, but then I, I found there were, you know, other people in the, the same boat that I was in. Um, yeah. and, and they had to, they encouraged me that that is your testimony, but it was a great one. Yeah. I only wish I didn't have um, all that past. I have. Oh. So, but, um. I mean, obviously, I'm not perfect by any means, and um, but it was about it was yeah four years ago, 2016. Um, it took to my 30s for the Lord to actually for me to be tested in such a way. Um, my faith was so rocked that I questioned whether I wanted to follow someone who would allow you know these events to take place in my life. So mm -hmm. it happened later, later on. 
Um, but through that, it just makes me think of James, uh, James 1, where it says, you know, count it all joy, brothers and sisters, yeah. when you go through trials and tribulations, because it produces perseverance. Mm -hmm. And um, it just caused my roots to go deeper in the Lord. It caused my faith to be stronger for me to lean into him like I never yeah. had before. Um, even through going to war, go, through serving in the military, through some even childhood challenges in the home. Um, uh, you know, I'm thankful that the Lord has made me strong, but that through that season in 2016, um, I, there were, there was, there were, you know, weeks, probably a month there where I'm like, I didn't even want to live. Oh, and so, wow. but it gave me compassion uh -huh. for other people as well. Yeah. It really softened me. Um, and Why do you think just, it is that you didn't want to live? What did things yeah. pile up, build up? What, yeah. what, what, what made you feel lesser than that you wanted to kill mm. yourself? Well, and, and I, I don't, I wouldn't say necessarily wanted to kill myself, but I didn't want to exist. You didn't want to yeah, exist. Okay. I didn't. I just wanted the Lord to take me home. I remember saying, Lord, just I don't care how you would do it, just take okay. me home. Well, you know what was going on? And, yeah. and I remember my mom calling me on the phone, and she was like, Heather, like she was crying because she knew. Um, I was just going through a hardship. So, yeah. I mean, I uprooted. There was, it, of course, it's going to be like a boy's story, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, I had spent so much time, you know, in the military, and that became my mission, my focus. And um, I finally had found a gentleman that I that liked. And, and so, who, I mean, long story short, great guy. Uh, I thought we were going to get married. So we dated for several months. It was more of a long distance, but we did missions together. And, um, you know, I, it, it wasn't just an over the phone. I, we hung out and went to go visit him and he visited me and stuff. But until you really get to know a person and living yeah. life around them, right? Yeah. So, but I uprooted all that I knew. Um, at that time I was living in the Midwest and I moved 2000 miles away from my family, my church and everyone. And so, to where? um, uh, 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 Pacific Northwest. Oh. So, and, um, so a new, you know, just it just I just felt mm -hmm. very strongly I felt like this is where the Lord was leading and um, and so I dropped everything and um, I decided to move out there and to and to pursue a, a deeper relationship and I really thought we were gonna get married mm -hmm. obviously we didn't but um, and now you know four years later I see the, the Lord's hand in that but in yeah, the yeah, season yeah. you know in the moment you don't always see that you don't always notice that and we're both like great people but just we yeah. weren't God was protecting each one of us we weren't mm. right for each other um, <clears throat> but going back to your first question I had made him and the dream that I created an idol. Oh. And so I kicked Jesus off his throne yeah. and, uh, and I, and I put this gentleman in that dream more. So the dream, mm -hmm. um, there, and I don't know if you guys or anyone watching, if you've had a dream, um, or something you've desired so mm -hmm. much that you put it before everything else. Oh. Focus. Yeah, focus. you're focused. Yeah, focus. right. Yeah. yeah, very <laughs> good. Great. 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 So I, I had this, I had this literally this death grip on this, <laughs> what I thought was best for Heather. Mm. And, wow. and the, I believe yeah. truly looking, you know, now that I look back, I believe that the Lord in his graciousness and he is so loving and kind. And sometimes he allows things to happen yes. in our lives because yeah. in the end, he knows the end of the story yeah. and it ended up refining <laughs> me, making me a better, just a, a deeper relationship with him. Yes. And, um, and, and a, a stronger Christian in that, um, living my life for him. But I just had this death grip on this idea, uh, that became an idol. Uh, my life, what my life would look like. Yeah. And he had to give me all the things that Heather thought was best for her and had to self combust because yeah. I'm stubborn and I wouldn't let go. Mm. So the only way I would let go is if he allowed it to shatter in my hands. Yeah. Um, but he never left my side, oh, wow. you know, through, through all of it. So, um, that's the beauty in all of that. And I'll be honest, I had some dark days where I felt like even I wasn't a Christian. There are times where I question whether I was a Christian because I question and I, and with my students, I always told them, I said, it is okay to question. Mm, God's yes. big enough. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was a sin. I thought it was bad for me to ask God all these questions. Like, why did this not turn out the way that it, that it did? Why do I feel like you led me to this direction? And then it, it you know, it just self combusted or, or mm. it just didn't go the way that I thought it mm -hmm. was going to was, was I not hearing you correctly? Um, you know, uh, 
you know, why did I, I just, I was angry. I was, yeah. I remember I went through the grieving process, you know, I just remember being so angry at God too. And, um, and I just, I was like, I, I don't, why would you allow this to happen? And, um, I felt horrible, but I had to allow myself to go through the process of questioning. Mm -hmm. Do I really want to sure. serve? Do I believe he's a good, good father? And that song, I love that song because mm. if there's anything Satan can do is he'll tell you that God is not good. Right. Oh, if yeah. he can convince you he's not good, then he's got you in the grip of his hand. Wow, yeah, that's and true. so I went through a season questioning that, but it was so good because through that, I am over Proverbs girl, but I opened up the Psalms and I poured into the Psalms and I lamented and I mm. cried and I journaled and I walked through King David's journey, yeah. you know, just kind of like not living what he lived, but just fall, just seeing the heartache and the wrestling and that it was all okay. And it was good. Yes. Um, so, so good. And, um, do you think, do you think when looking back now, yeah. cause it's four years it's later, it's been four years. Yeah. Do you think he, the Lord, really led you there? Or do you mm. think it was your flesh? That's good. I, you know, I've, I've contemplated, I've gone over that so many times, even look back at my journals and I felt like I was led in that direction. Mm. It's just the story didn't end the way that I thought oh, that's it was good. gonna end. Yeah, that's but it doesn't good. mean that uh, he's used it. I le now live here in Colorado. I'd probably still be living in the Midwest mm. in Iowa <laughs> if, if I didn't step out, he wanted me to step out and it was a faith journey. Mm. And I've taken two other huge faith journeys since mm. then. So no, I, I do believe cause I'm spirit filled and I listen to the Lord and I do, I do believe he had led me uh -huh. in that direction, yeah. but, um, and people have choices it. and things change. Yeah. You know, one thing that you said that is so powerful that you had a death grip on what mm -hmm. you thought your, your whole life yeah. should look like. And I had asked somebody a question one time, and this should be asked to everyone that's getting married. Are you in love with the idea yes. of getting married and the white mm -hmm. picket fence and all of these things mm -hmm. that you've had this ideal stuff? Because if you're in love with all of that and not really the person, in the time when the waves crash at your ship, you're just gonna bail, right. you know? And so that's true. why, and what happened in the end, you loved God, you mm -hmm. surrendered to God, and you said, man, I, I want what you want. And so in the end, all of this was for training. It all of this was for purpose. Yeah. And what was great is you didn't let mm -hmm. it not be for purpose. Mm -hmm. You didn't let it just be wasted. You ended mm -hmm. up through mm -hmm. all of that and through God leading you, you were trained so mm -hmm. to just lay prostrate and trust him mm -hmm. through it all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you 100% right. The, the I think the, the moral of the story is, is not so much that it, in this situation, my story may be a guy. We've all had our relationship stuff, and mm -hmm. maybe for someone else, it may be, I don't know, fill in the blank, whatever, whatever it is for yeah. you. I just, I created um, a dream, and um, wow, you that created me, that, that. See, that's great. And and even also, wow. honestly, allowed. Um, other people to place mantles upon me, like saying, oh, this would be good for you. Or I could see you, you know, doing this oh, or going there. And, and I embraced what had been told me ever since I was young. I was kind of, it was part of the dream mm -hmm. without going into like a whole lot of like, specifics. But um, so it was, it was placing whatever it is that you're, you're working through mm -hmm. on that mantle. It's in take and tearing that down. So it just, the end of the day. Um, yeah. It became an idol, the dream, and it and and the dream. So that, that because it was your dream, it was an my idol, dream. Yeah, it, you almost got destroyed through it. And they yeah. gotta know when it's God's dream, yeah, and when it's God's purpose and it's His yeah. plan, man. It's you're, you know, it, it's and it's it's beautiful. I desired to you know get married and have kids and settle down and like all yeah. those things. And that's what it really came down to. A lot of mm. us women desire that, and um, and so you know, I just I had put it before the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, and, yeah. and any time you do that, it'll come crashing down. There's, mm -hmm. you know, God has to be our first love and he has to be the one that we seek. And it's like, seek first the kingdom of God and all things will come. Um, uh, Matthew six thirty three. Yeah. And so if you seek him first and everything else flows through that. That's right. And, you know, mm -hmm. God is a God of restoration. He'll yes. restore. Amen. Yeah, yeah, he probably has already, yeah. but he will restore. He, no he, question. Uh, yes. Amen. Good, Amen. Good yeah, that's powerful. And then, you know, 
people don't realize when you when you go into the service as you did and you served our country yeah. since you were 18 and you had two deployments to Iraq and all those things you people that are soldiers are built they're, they're just <laughs> they have they're built different that's all I can yeah. say their makeup is different and then you have to do a lot of stuff out there and it takes great discipline and actually it's the same thing with a soldier in the kingdom of yes, God a soldier yes. of the mm -hmm. Lord but we really never have had to be on that battlefield in the yeah. sense of right out there with physical. our combat boots on physical mm -hmm. and so we really the ones that have not done that don't understand that yeah. mm -hmm. and um, you're you're putting it so beautifully and um, the thing is is there may be other women out there that went through what you went through because you go through all this what I'm hearing you went through all this loneliness and you finally get this dream you're gonna get your man <laughs> your dream you're gonna get all this stuff and then BAM, bam here yeah. you are alone again yeah and that's probably the biggest hardest thing but what people need to know is your story is ending well and God's gonna bring somebody your mm -hmm. your yes. Prince Charming he <laughs> is God does yeah. God does it because guess why because God didn't want man to be alone he doesn't mm -hmm. want you to that's be alone right. God is in a relationship mm -hmm. Relationship, God, a yes. relationship. He's going to bring you somebody because mm -hmm. He don't want you to be alone. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to be alone. He mm -hmm. created us for fellowship. Mm -hmm. And when we go back to that, there's the goodness of God. He's so good. He's so good. <laughs> He's so good. So I know. you were in the war. You were actually in in combat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So oh for my. I mean, mm -hmm. there's you know the ten years I'd say solid that we were at uh, at war um, in Iraq and Afghanistan. I mean, I only, I say only two deployments because there's so many of my fellow comrades that have been in so many more, mm -hmm. you know, so, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, the bulk of my service was, like, was the height of, of the Iraqi war. Yeah, you didn't get in for schooling or education <sighs> yeah. and get I'm in an office. I'm thankful I, you know, yeah. I, I had the opportunity, um, but you know, you know, at the beginning when I started out 18 of how much the military would provide for that. So, got my education prayed for, praise God, and it's yeah, so good. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, little did I know that six months out of graduating high school that I would be jumping, you know, Into jumping war. in, going to Iraq. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Uh, not a high school, six months out of college, excuse me. Yeah. I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, no. <She> like, <laughs> okay. My baby. Yeah, out, of, out of college. But there were many, many that straight out of high school. So, mm. yeah. yeah. Wow. The Bible talks so much about good, being a good soldier. Yeah. It? Yeah, and you were obviously a good one. And now it's your time. It's your season. But God had to, I really believe that, uh, I just go with the flow of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, okay? amen. Um, uh, <laughs> I really believe God is really, since 2020 hit in mm -hmm. the natural, mm -hmm. there's really a supernatural thing that God spoke over his bride. Yeah. And over those that, th this isn't over everybody because you got to be surrendered. Mm -hmm. to God and really asking God and laying prostrate before him. But I believe your 2020 when God was saying breakthrough, it was like everybody else. Some people got disappointed yes. because they thought my breakthrough didn't come. Everybody said breakthrough. Well, because they connected it to, again, like right. the death grip, right. uh, something in the material or some false dream or something that they made up in their minds. And and so it brought disappointment, but yours, God is saying, that your 2020 breakthrough, your 2020 that he's doing, and the things that he is shifting, is preparing and bringing yeah. all of that Amen. to you. I receive that. Because you surrendered all 2020 of 2020 vision. <laughs> Focus, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And But, you know, the biggest thing is, is 2020, and, and I love that, that he was doing, giving some people 2020, but it was heaven's vision, because they mm. had their own vision, you know? Yeah. But, um... And the biggest thing was breakthrough in our lives for the things for the kingdom of God mm -hmm. to come. His will be done Amen. on earth as it is in heaven. And his will is for you not to be alone. Mm -hmm. That's his Amen. will. I don't care what anybody says. If somebody wants to live like Paul, live Amen. single forever, yeah. then that's fine. Yeah. And, you know, God will honor that. <laughs> yeah. But you don't want that. No. You yeah. want a mate. Mm -hmm. and a soulmate and not just any mate but somebody who's rooted and grounded in the word so we just call it forth in Amen. jesus name we Amen. call it forth in Absolutely. jesus name the perfect one for you that he put you in his path and him in your path Amen. so his divine will can come mm -hmm. about amen, amen. yeah, yeah. Sure. so you were we, tested big yeah. yeah yeah you really were and you were brave to go into the service at 18. Yeah. i mean it, it was it's crazy because I had no previous plans. Some kids have dreams of serving. I literally graduated from high school. I was like, Lord, I don't know, you know, what do I want to do next? And um, 
So you know, what did you say, is, like, through acquaintance? Well, like, I went, a recruiter, you know, came to my house, and I spent a day prayed, and I was like, I had so much peace. And the <clears> Lord, <throat> I tried to get out three times, and the Lord has, kept, you know, kept me in. Um, and so it's it was what he had called me to for that period, for that season of my life. Mm -hmm. And yeah. But it has allowed me to be a strong soldier in God's kingdom. So I was a soldier in the United States Army, and now I'm a soldier a God's army. Oh, that's and so, awesome. and, and there's a lot of, yes, there's a lot of preparation. There's a lot of discipline, perseverance, grit, embrace the suck, you know, I've, yeah, through all of it, but it has given me the tools necessary in order to be a soldier in God's army. That's and, awesome. And, you know, and what we're facing even now with um, our, our world is turned upside down and it's like, I will not be shaken. I've seen God come through Oh, you yeah. know, there were times where he I thought come. I was going to die, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. and he, he just, he protected me, he protected my soldiers and, and, um, and so I, because you were the officer. So not only I, were yeah. you out there on the battlefield, yeah. you're in charge and mm -hmm. you're thinking, mm -hmm. you got to make sure that everybody's protected, that your yeah. decision is right for yeah. everybody, you know? And I just, I'm, I'm in love with the Lord. I, he's uh -huh. my first love and I can't even begin to explain the love I have for him be because he has never left me. He's never forsaken me. And in that yes. season, when I questioned, when I came through, he was still standing there. And whenever, you know, I walked away, I was like, I don't want to talk to you right now, Lord. You know, it just, <laughs> there was like a month where I was like, I just leave me alone. I was yeah. angry. I was hurt. I was, you know, felt like I was, um, cast aside and these were all lies mm -hmm. from the pit of hell yes. Satan was like see you can't trust him see he doesn't have your best interest at hand see everything you know failed. All, everything yeah, fell apart, but you, only for a moment because yeah. he's using it for right. my good so but digging into the scriptures and um wow journaling like crazy a lot of people have those little journals you know the books it takes me now like probably six months to fill i literally had a journal a month that's how much journaling i'm pouring wow. my heart out to the lord and i go back and i read over them and even though that was a hard year i miss yeah. <laughs> some parts of just the intimacy i had with the lord because i just um i ate slept and drank god because i had no one else i had yeah. nothing else you know See, i think that's why trials and tribulations it was beautiful said, count it all joy because mm -hmm. man we're gonna have him uh, because it, it pushes us yeah. to him now some it doesn't it drives him away yeah. but mo mostly it pushes yeah. you to the lord when you have devastation or destruction or trials or tribulations man it draws yeah. us to the lord and we're crying out lord yeah. where are you what's going on even if we're doing that we're seeing God, mm -hmm. you know, but, and he becomes yeah. your husband. He did. Oh, mm. absolutely. You know, um, I have a cross on my ring finger. You know, he will always be my first love tattooed on my my ring finger. Oh, you know, on the inside. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I, I I truly believe what you said. It is it is a choice at the end of the day. Yeah. And but I did cry out to the Lord when I didn't have the strength. He gave me the strength to. Yes. you know, to follow my knees. I just surrender. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, it comes down to surrender. And I just yeah. remember driving down the highway, you know, with, with the windows down and, um, and it, the music blaring, uh, specifically the song, you're a good, good father. And I would sing that on the top of my lungs with tears pouring down my mm -hmm. face mm -hmm. it just say it till i believed it because i knew it was yeah. true but the heart and the head you know that 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 connection mm -hmm. wasn't made because my mind was telling me one thing because you know, i was well, circumstances logic you know trying to be logical about it and it's like well you know the lord um he's he you know he's spirit filled like he's in i don't say in my heart but like um because I don't want to use like Christianese, but I'd accepted him and the Holy Spirit was there with me yes, all the time. Yeah. And so that's what gave me the strength. Amen. You know? Amen. But we amen. have to surrender ourselves to the Lord at the end of the day. At the end of the we day, just, that's what it's all about. You, yeah. you, if you don't surrender and you don't obey, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you're done. And we got to remember that and Jesus was led into the wilderness. One of the biggest, there you go. Yes. worst <laughs> times mm -hmm. of his life. Yes. And he came out. Mm -hmm. in victory yes. and a lot of the, everything isn't roses mm -hmm. everything isn't you know our valleys 
get us to the mountain yeah. because we Amen. learn we learn to be mm -hmm. a good soldier mm -hmm. like you said pray for some people that would you know because you know you've been there and there's probably soldiers there's probably women mm -hmm. out there right now that that mm -hmm. have went through what you have went through Heather mm -hmm. and let's just pray for them look in your camera and just yeah. encourage mm -hmm. them and pray for mm -hmm. them and I just want to say too that um, I, I don't regret it I don't regret a day of my story of, the, of what I went through um, because God was with me by, by my side and my roots grow deep, had grown deeper into the Lord mm -hmm. and I have a stronger and closer relationship with him because of it, because I know I can't be rocked mm -hmm. because he is by my side. Mm -hmm. He's so, but uh, you want to specifically have me pray. Yeah, why don't you pray the, for those women? Yeah, yeah, why don't you pray for okay. women because you've Just been women, there okay. on that battlefield. Yeah, okay. So they can be encouraged. Yeah. Mm. yeah, Father, we thank you. Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you so much, Lord, for God's view and the opportunity to come here today, Lord, and just to share a little bit of my testimony, God. And um, we just want to lift up in, in agreement and lift up all the women who are serving um, on the fr either front lines in the military, if it be um, uh, our police officers, our our firefighters, or any any fields that may be challenged for our women. Lord, I just lift them up to you right now, especially those who are specifically watching now, God. I just, you know, they're probably tuning in right now and 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 just realize that, hey, this 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 woman is speaking into my heart, um, speaking the word of God that God loves you, He will never forsake you, and um, and I I ask you and plead with you to lean into Him and allow Him to be your strength in all things. And Lord, sir, I just pray for a surrendered heart in Jesus' name. Whoever, if it may be male or female, Lord, a surrendered heart of people. But a place where they're consumed with fear, Lord, and they don't know what to do or where to turn or where to go next, Lord. I pray that they would seek you with all of their heart. I pray that they would fall on their knees and ask you, Lord, to be, to be their focus, to be their Hallelujah. lover, to be their husband, to be their all, Lord. And I just pray that they recognize that they can't do it sure. without you and that you love us so deeply lord and we just pray a blessing over all of these people in jesus name Praise amen God. that was amen. perfect yes. perfect now come on the god she's talking about is jesus christ he's our lord our savior you know he died on a cross he rose again mm -hmm. and he's coming back to take his church amen. eternally with him and you may not have never known him you may have just been clicking through the channels listen i hear it all the time that somebody's clicking through the channels and found God's view and there's been people that come to the Lord right at that moment so we're so grateful and if you don't know him just ask him to come into your life forgive you of your sin and be the Lord of your life it's as easy as that bam everybody who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved Amen. there's one way truth and life to the Father and that's Jesus Christ and so if you said that today then ask to be baptized with the Holy Spirit and with fire and you you have a prayer language and there'll be a power that will walk your walk out and then call us if you need call us and we'll um, pray with you and get some literature into your hand listen go to our website today you can get a, a God's view anointing oil for a $20 or more love offering and it helps us keep coming into your home and around the world for the gospel of Jesus Christ I mean you could pre get them for Christmas Christmas gifts. Who doesn't need anointing oil? Oh, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And if you would please, we don't ask a lot ever, but we need you to partner with us today because we have a lot of stuff that we need to um, just take care of. It takes a lot of money to run all of this. And so if you would partner with us this year and be consistent mm -hmm. and, and for the next years, you know, I mean, you could do $10, mm -hmm. $20 a month. It all helps. It all adds up, and it will help us keep coming into your home yes. and around the world, touching mm -hmm. lives for the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's only goodbye for today. Remember, God's got a view. Yes. God's got a view personally for you. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ, welcome to God's view. Oh,